a shop vac is capable of pulling in air at a rate of 250 feet cube per minute. What is the rate of the vacuum's airflow in liters per second? So in this problem, we are given 250 feet cube per minute. So first thing we can do is we can convert minutes into seconds. So we put minutes on top and then seconds on the bottom. And we know that one minute is equivalent to 60 seconds. So as you can see, the minutes would cancel. And now we have seconds in the denominator. And the next, we can convert from feet cube or cubic feet into inches cube or cubic inches. So how do we do that? Remember that one foot is equal to 12 inches. But, but since here we're talking about cubic feet and cubic inches, we should take the cube of both sides. So on the left side, 1 raised to the power of 3 is just 1, so that's 1 cubic foot. And on the right side, we have 12 raised to 3 cubic inches. So 1 cubic foot is equivalent to 12 raised to 3 cubic inches. So the cubic feet would cancel out. Now we have cubic inches. Next, we can convert cubic inches into cubic centimeters. So we know that one inch is equivalent to 2.54 centimeters. Of course, we take the cube of both sides So on the left side, we have 1 cubic inch, and on the right side, we have 2.54 raised to 3 cubic centimeters. So 1 cubic inch, that's equivalent to 2.54 raised to 3 cubic centimeters. So the cubic inch would cancel. Now we have cubic centimeters on top. And then we can convert cubic centimeters to ml. And we know that 1 cubic centimeter is equivalent to 1 ml. So the cubic centimeters would cancel. Now you have 1 ml. And finally, we can convert ml into liters. And we know that one liter has 1,000 ml. So the mls would cancel and now we have liters on top. So as you can see now, we have liters in the numerator on top and we have seconds in the denominator, so on the bottom. So since we arrived at our desired units, we can now solve this entire thing. So grab your calculator. So we need to do 250 times 1 divided by 60 times 12 raised to 3 divided by 1 times 2.54 raised to 3 divided by 1 times 1 divided by 1 times 1 divided by 1,000. And from that, you will get approximately, so the answer would be, if rounded off, the answer would be 118, and that would be liters per second. And this is the answer to the question.